USD GPY and Euro USD price analysis look at this level of support. Markets have not created a new low from this very area of support, which is one of the critical things as a USD GPY trader you need to pay attention to right now on the chart and on Euro USD. I am seeing that price is going to obey this very level of resistance and liquidity is going to be satisfied at this very point what that means is from this very area of important resistance we're going to see the market begin to turn back to the downside for a retracement before continuation all the way right down from this very area of important resistance right now retracement before continuation and that is what i'll be talking about in this very video so watch this video all the way to the very end if you are new year my name is Paradise. On this channel, I discuss everything about Forex day trading strategy to keep you profitable. Please support this channel by leaving a like for this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification for more Forex videos like this one. Also, check the channel for all the Forex content. USD JPY chart, look at its very important level because if liquidity is not satisfied at this very point, we know we see the market move all the way to the upside but if we see the liquidity satisfaction at this very area of important support it means the market is going to move upward okay and what that means is we need to change our sell perspective to the downside and think of counter trend trading the market all the way from here to the upside for a counter trend position on the 4 r or 1 r chart and this is very important if you take a critical look at where the price is right now it is clear that the markets have not created a new clues the very clues is at this very price level of 144.09 but this market come close a little bit to this very price level of 144 to one okay so this is very important right now so this clues is a little bit lower compared to this and for us to further portray the fact that this market is going to move downward we need to see this very market go down and break this level of important support so therefore if there is no breakout of this level of support the market is not going to come back down and that is what i am expecting i'm expecting that the market break out of this level of support before we see any further move to the downside else we're going to look at the market getting liquidity satisfaction from this very zone of important support right here and then from there the market is going to move to the upside and this is very important right now although there is no high likelihood of the market to continue buying from this very area there is still a high chance of market moving downward and the reason is because if you look at the momentum to which this two bullish candle is moving upward is very very little so a little momentum on this two bullish candle right here this very one and this very one is not severe these are very tiny candles and what that means is that buyers are not very very strong right now in the market to push this market from here to the upside which means market can a little bit move upward and then begin to come back all the way to the downside so this possibility exists in the market right now for market to move sluggishly upward and then come back down but if we see aggressive move in the candles from this very area upward then i'll be expecting the market to move up a little bit breaking this level of important resistance before it will finally come back to the downside and if you look at the stochastic rsi indicator the market is already below the 80 percent line out of the over bot condition at this very point what that means is market is going to come back down but if this possibility play out on the chart where the market move from here upward then we're going to see this very indicator move into the overbought condition again and come out for that very final drop to the downside on usd gpy this is very important right now because of this very rejection we are seeing from this very level of support making the market to move slightly with bullish move upward and this is very important right now so be very careful at the moment trading usd gpy to the downside for a sell opportunity 
right now on the chart because the market have capacity of moving upward although there is a greater chance of market still moving all the way to the downside from this very area owing to the fact that the stochastic rsi is now out of the over bought condition and moving down approaching the 50 percent line at this very point and this is what you must have to pay attention to on your chart and put in line with your strategy if you look at the euro usd chart looking at this very chart right now you discover that the market is at this very point of important resistance this very level of resistance is very important right now to the chart and my expectation is that the market should find liquidity satisfaction within this very area where the market is right now in this very zone of resistance and begin to come back down for a retracement and then before continuation all the way to the upside this is very important right now and one of the key things that is on the chart that we need to look at is the stochastic rsi as well because if you look at the stochastic rsi right now it has crossed over each other which means there is a high capacity or potential for the market to come back down from this very point look at it here from this very area of overbought condition we've seen the crossover between the orange line and the blue line okay heading down above the 80 percent line what i am waiting for is for these two lines to come out of the overbought condition crossing the 80 percent line at this very area once i see that crossover and then it go below the 80 percent line then it is a guarantee that this very market is going to move from here to the downside for a correction before continuation to the upside for this very uptrend now the market is still in an uptrend on the one day chart this is very clear so don't be fooled about that pay attention to what you are seeing on the chart look at it here an uptrend is still in play from this very area market move upward we have retracement market move created new high we have retracement so a new high is created again this is a retracement and a continuation back to the upside so what you need to do for this very move if you are a counter trend trader as the market begin to move downward on the one day chart from this very area of resistance to the downside you can trade this on the lower time frame for example the 4 hour chart because you're going to see a clear downward trend on the 4 hour chart or 1 hour chart to the downside but on the 1 day chart if you trade the 1 day chart you need to wait for the market to finish this retracement and then at the end of retracement within this very zone market is going to then continue all the way to the upside on euro usd this is what you must have to pay attention to right now on your chart and put in line with your strategy and also combination to the fact that the market is going to go below the 80 percent line on the stochastic rsi right here and which will follow up well the market to come back to the downside with bearish momentum and this is what i am paying attention to right now guys look for markets coming back all the way to the downside within this very area before continuation all the way to the upside on euro usd so this is a very important video for all euro usd trader and also usd jpy trader right now please support this channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more forex videos like this one also check the channel for other forex content and if you've not registered with any broker i have a recommended broker for you in the description of this very video check it out and do the registration right away thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye bye